So let's take a look at yellow underwashes. I want to show you what not to do. So often when I see yellow underwashes, I see harsh demarcation lines, harsh, sharp lines, and then I see the highlight at the end of that. This doesn't give the feeling of flow and of form. So I'd like to show you what happens, what causes that, and what happens when you have that scenario. And, and you can see how those harsh lines lose the feeling of three dimension, and they also lose the feeling of, and the flow of form. So let's just do this in a circle. I'm just going to lay in some clear water. So the first thing I do is lay in step one of my priming method. That's just a clear water wash. So I've laid in a clear water wash and I'm going to allow that to be absorbed into the inner layers of the paper. Once the sheet has gone off the surface, then I know that I can come in with my next clear water wash. So now I'm going to show you what not to do. I'm going to wet the circle and I'm not going to wet into the highlight area. Just dropping water where I'm going to be painting. I pick up some yellow, a little bit too strong. Pick up some yellow and I'm going to drop that into this area. As I come up to my area of highlight, I'll come up to dry paper. I know I've hit dry paper because the paint isn't flowing. Can you see that? You can see that the paint has stopped flowing. So imagine this is how I think I'm going to create my highlight. But what I'm actually going to create is a very hard edge. That's not what we want to do. When this is dry, we'll take another look at that. Now we're going to have a look at what we do want to do. This circle has my first clear water wash in my priming method. That's step one, a clear water wash over the entire area. Remembering that over here we have our highlight. But we've actually gone over that. We've gone over the whole area. Now the water has just sunken into the inner layers of the paper. There's no sheen left on the surface, but we do know there is a small amount of moisture still in there. Now I'm going to lay in my second clear water wash. And I'm only going up to where my highlight is. I'm not wetting in my highlight area again, and I'm going to pick up my yellow and I'm going to drop that in and I'm going to take that up to that edge and we should find that the yellow will just gently flow into the highlight area and leave a very soft edge. And you can see how this is gen just gently infiltrating that area and we're going to end up with a lovely soft gradation of yellow into the highlight area. So you can see how that works. This we have a hard edge, this we have a soft gradation. Another thing you can do is use more water and less pigment as you're getting closer. When this is bone dry, I would wet the area again and I would drop a little bit more saturation of pigment in this area here and that would give us that three-dimensional look, the look of tone as well as colour. 
So as this is drying, you can see that we have that gentle roll of form. We have our darker area at the base, and as it comes further over into the highlight, we get that gentle gradation of color, and this is what we're after. There are no harsh demarcation lines here. Just as you see here, we have this harsh line. We want to avoid that. That doesn't give us that roll of form. So it's quite easy, really. It's just a matter of practicing and becoming familiar with how much water you've got on your paper and also on your brush. But you can see how it works. You can see how invaluable this lesson is. So master it and you'll find it'll make a huge difference to your paintings.